be prepared to find out what the next best deck in Master Duel is. I swear to god, this deck is so good, you're not gonna believe it. As a lot of you do know, I did win the Philly Regional with Flanderies, so kind of maybe I know what I'm doing with the deck already. So let's talk about the deck profile right away. There's really not much you can change here. You can think about adding a DD Crow because it is searchable and it's yeah it's td crow but this is pretty budget like the only cards that you really need to play this deck is dimension shifter believe it or not because it's just that good of a hand trap it's not worth not playing but let's just go over it quickly extra deck not important i'll explain why so flundries and robina it's a three of it's the best starter eglin again three of it's another starter if you have map it's a better starter if you have map then we play once three we play one token so these are one ofs when you get your engine rolling those two cards are going to be the infinite grind game. You're not going to care about Robina and Eglin as much as you're going to care about these two. And of course, unexplored wins. But we'll get to there. Maxi. This deck doesn't care about Maxi, but every other deck does. An important thing to note is if you D-Shifter, you cannot Maxi. So that's just the thing. It conflicts because this needs to hit the grave. The thing is... It's not going to matter that much because just both of those cards win you games on their own. So it's like, yeah, I'm going to D-Shifter. Uh, two turns after, I'm going to Maxi. And what's what's my opponent going to do? Not going to win, obviously, but yeah. So again, standard uh, 3 Maxi, 3 Ash. Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds. So this is the card that makes his deck very OP. I'm just saying this card is not fair. It just says your opponent cannot special summon. This card says your opponent cannot use the Grave. And this card says your opponent cannot special summon also. So yeah, think about it. This is just way too good. Uh, yeah, three D Shifter, one Apex Avion, one Mega Rise, a two Empen. Wondery stuff. Do not change anything. This is as standard as it gets. Don't. Uh, you do need two Empen. One is not enough for certain combos. We play one Terraforming because the Field Spell is actually the best card in the deck, like best consistency card in the deck. Field Spell plus any bird is full combo. I mean, just for Bean is also full combo. But yeah, so three Duality, three Prosperity. You can experiment with. Adding one extravagance, but it's not needed in my opinion. Uh, three map, best card, as I said. This in the grind game with uh, street, with token, it's just it becomes too strong, honestly. Like, you're just tributing your opponent's cards two times a turn, at least, like, at least two times a turn. Two book of moon, I would like to bump this up to three. I just haven't figured it out since I just made the deck list. Two cosmic cyclone, because it does lose the zombie world, funnily enough, and it does lose the certain floodgates if you do not have. Uh, it loses to there can be only one also so yeah you do need to play this you would love you would like to play three but again do call by the grave if we had advent which is a card that's missing and definitely makes this deck like the best deck even now i believe it's still the best deck but advent makes it even better just get this deck and wait it's very cheap just get it in one dreaming town you don't need more than one since you can recycle it it banishes itself for the extra deck the only thing that's important is phoenix phoenix is important if you need to out a uh, zombie world uh, same with Crush, uh, Zeus, same with Zeus really, but other than that, you're just banishing 6 off of Prosperity multiple times, so you need 15 cards in your extra deck. That's pretty much the only reason why I do it. I really cannot get some interesting games, because I swear, like, I'm gonna see Shifter, I'm gonna Shifter my opponent. Okay, so I'm not gonna see Shifter, thank god, because I probably just would have won there and not made the video. We're playing versus Sword Soul. Okay, this is actually gonna be interesting. Let's see how Swordsoul does. If he makes him in attack position, oh, that's gonna be so sweet. That is gonna be nice. So he's starting with Long Young. Please attack position. You shouldn't make this in... Yeah, okay, correct play. The thing is, this is actually really good versus me. So he's gonna do Moe now. If he has Blackout, I'm just gonna banish the Blackout. I mean, even if I lose this, this is gonna be an interesting game. Probably. There we go. Taya effect. Why Taya, though? Hmm. Is he making a Synchro 7? I am... So confused what's happening here. Oh, now I see the Ash Blossom. Perfect. Uh, you know what? This is gonna happen. Imperm. Okay. Good. Nice. I should probably play Mystic Mind now that I think... Oh, Mystic Mind is banned here. Right. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna activate map. Please destroy this. No, he's not gonna destroy it. So effect of map. This is good. I need to banish Rabina. So chain link one, street, chain, uh, I guess banish the Vishuda, right? So, oh, this is actually very good versus Sword Soul. Yeah, I forgot about how good street is, like, versus DPE, versus Sword Soul, versus Phantom Knights. It's just really good. Please waste this on nothing. If you do it now, I'm gonna be so happy. Please waste it on nothing. Okay, he's not gonna do it. Ah, sucks, but hey. It is what it is. Normal summon a monster to the field. 
I'm going to normal summon Rabina and activate the effect of Rabina. We're actually gonna go for Mega Ryza here. Okay, Rabina resolves. Okay, he. What's the set? I can't figure out what the set is for the life of me. Normal summon a monster, so I guess we're normaling this. Sorry, I hit hit my microphone. This is the one that needs to resolve, and it is going to resolve. I think Mega Monarch is better. Otherwise, he can just banish my cards with this. I need the Mega Monarch. So I'm gonna normal summon. So I'm gonna return this to deck. Yeah, I actually have to return my own card, so Cyclone, I guess. And the hand, what's gonna go to hand? I guess this thing, whatever it is, it's gonna go to the hand. And let's trigger Eglin. Yeah, he has to do it now. He doesn't really have a choice. Let's see what he's gonna do. Please banish the field spell at least, so I can kind of profit from that a bit. Let's see, let's see. Banishing Stree, why would you do that? That's just bad for you. Now I can run over Taya. Wow. Wow. I didn't expect that for sure. Battle phase. Sword Soul. What am I gonna say? It's Sword Soul. It's a good deck. It's a good deck. Okay, I might be over-exaggerating. Sword Soul is actually a good deck. It's just that, like... I mean, you, you see what's happening. He is gonna get Barrier Statue of the Stormwinded, inevitably. Oh, he's gonna do that. That's fine. I do need him to normal, though, so please normal. He's gonna banish the add back. Adding back the Vishuda. Okay. <laughs> I, you see what I'm dealing with? I cannot get interesting games. I think that's actually gonna have to do, like... This isn't working out. I've played four games. They were the most boring games known to mankind because I de-shifted through my opponent and he just forfeited. So I am one game away from rank up now. I'm going first, finally! Let's do it. Pot of Duality. Apex Avion. Oh, I think I actually... I think I had Ash. So, we're gonna normal summon Rabina, effect of Rabina. Uh, we have all we need now since we have the Eglin, so we can even do Stormwinds. Normal summon, we're gonna normal summon Eglin, effect of Eglin. Let's get that, and why is someone hitting the floor here at my apartment building? Okay, so we're going to actually... Sorry about that, so... Let's see. We're gonna do the Rabina Chainlink too, so I don't know how my opponent is gonna win because he's dealing with the Stormwinds. He's dealing with me tributing his cards and Book of Mooning, whatever he wants to attack. I'm liking this. That's that's all I'm gonna say, I'm liking this. Okay, so, yep, definitely add that. A normal summon, yes, I almost clicked no, that would've hurt. Uh, no, that's fine, we're gonna do Advent Activate, Cancel, we're gonna set, and we're gonna set. Is he gonna forfeit again? He's on forfeit. Oh, also, let's turn this on. This is what your board is gonna look like 80% of the time. The other 20% it's gonna be... Uh, the other 15% it's gonna be without Stormwinds. And... I mean, but you're still gonna make it during your opponent's turn. I'm just gonna ash this. Don't wanna deal with anything. Come on. Attempt to go into the battle phase. I want him to attempt to go into the battle phase to see that he doesn't have anything else. Okay, so he doesn't have anything else. So here, here's what happens. Here's why this deck is so good. I could have also just Book of Moon to that. Absolutely could have. So Rabina Chainlink 1 and Chainlink 2 is going to be Eglin. So there we go. And now what we do is we make Avion with his monster. So wait, what am I adding? I'm adding, uh, let's add Dukin. I guess that's good. We're going to normal summon the monster. Yes, please. Also, if we didn't have wins, we would just activate the effect of Dreaming Town to Book of Moon his entire field. So it doesn't really even make a difference much here, but Avion is nice. So yeah, this isn't changing much. So yes, please. Doing that and doing that. There we go. It doesn't even activate. It just happens. Back to Verbena. To add back, I guess. Right? And that's good. Okay, good luck now. Let's see. This is what keeps happening. I had to show you, but th this is how this deck works. Your opponent either can out your board or, I mean, they can just forfeit. How am I supposed to get good content? Sorry for that last game. I was kind of in distress because my neighbors were smashing the walls. Like, what's happening there? I've been struggling to find a decent game to show you guys. I played like three games. I did play a really funny one that I will show you after this, but people just forfeit half the time when they see what I'm what I'm playing. Okay, so this I don't know. I'm gonna if they have gamma, they have gamma. I don't wanna think about this too much. They're under shifter and I still have a Nash Blossom. Wow. Okay, feel good. We're playing versus a back row deck. Oh my, this is gonna be interesting. So duality is Duality is nice. Let's turn this back to auto. Let's let's start with terraforming. If we get Imperial ordered, we lose here. We don't. Okay, so map. So this I want to see like a cosmic from this, just in case if it's a floodgate. So uh, I mean we have to really do this, right? Duality. There we go. Eglin is all we needed. Believe it or not, Eglin is all we needed. We're gonna activate this to bait a negation. 
Exactly. The good thing is this is getting banished, so I'm still generating resources. We're gonna activate this. Now this needs to stick because my hand isn't doing looking that well. Okay, he's going to go even bigger into the hole with minusing. Okay. That's fine. I mean, at this point, I need to just normal Eglin add something. Thin my deck out. I need to see something now. This is... This is interesting. He doesn't have any recursion. He's playing frogs. Paleo frogs. Which I don't know how that deck is supposed to be played. Uh, if I add uh, anything other than Empen, he's gonna know I have Empen in hand. Again, what is this? He thought I had combo. I didn't have anything. People are way too scared of this deck. I mean, it's... It's kind of... I can kind of understand it. Like, now I'm gonna show you my first game with Flunderies in Master Duel. I was, like, excited, expecting to have an interesting game, since I actually love Flunderies. And look what happened. I mean, this is this is what keeps happening to me now. Let's see, so I'm playing versus... I activate D-Shifter. He gammas me. I'm like, okay. Maxi. Oh, and that's the thing. You can D-Shifter chain Maxi, so it's actually completely fine. Like, that's a combo that is never gonna lose you. But I did this because I've actually bricked, so I wanted to see something. I drew a bird, so now I have full combo, which is good. So I effect uh, of map, normal three. What did I banish? I don't know. I guess uh, Rabina. Yep, Rabina's banished. And honestly, I wasn't, I was kind of unfamiliar since I'm used to playing this deck in real life. I just haven't played it here. So normal Rabina, I should have added statue. I don't know why I didn't. I actually should have. No, that's actually fine. No, that's fine, actually. So Empen. Empin effect, uh, chain link one, Eglin chain link two, and Empin adds, uh, yeah, Dreaming Town. So I set two, and he actually does this play where he can synchro during my turn. I draw two cards for it, so I don't know how that's worth it ever. I mean, okay. And he makes an attack position, and I top deck the storm barrier, whatever storm wins, and he makes an attack position so it cannot even activate its effects. So he is under barrier, and Empin. He attempts to attack Empin. Believe it or not, even though, so he's never read the card ever. Sets do, I Cosmic, I Dreaming Town, that's it. This is what's happening to me. So yeah, that is it for the video, guys. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it a lot, and until next time, peace out. <laughs>